I've decided to repaint the grill for my Land Rover, the KBX grill for my Land Rover, uh, in black as I've changed the colour of the Land Rover and I think that this would be a better colour for it. Um, I've no experience of painting plastics before so I thought it'd be quite interesting just to document uh, my experience of it. Um, if I can do it then anyone else can. I started by cleaning the grill first of all um, in the kitchen sink and found these rather handy utensils uh, just by the sink so hopefully they'll be of some assistance and I've started by just cleaning the grill getting rid of all the debris and muck and grease um, that's been deposited from the road. What I'll be spraying the grill with is um, some black paint. Um, I went down to a local car um, accessory shop and bought myself some uh, plastic primer and uh, some paint and some clear lacquer for the top. Um, I've also bought some very fine grit um, wet and dry paper which I'll use to flap down um, the uh, grill before I start to paint it and then in between the paint as well. Uh, I've also got uh, some clean cloth to wipe the surfaces and some alcohol which I'll be using um, before I start to paint. Right, so I've flattered down the plastics before I start to uh, consider wiping it with alcohol and, uh, and spraying it with a plastic primer. Um, I had been using a 1500 uh, grit paper, wet and dry paper, just to uh, flat down the surface, but the, it, it didn't seem to have much of an effect. And as you can see, it's, it's still quite glossy. Um, so I've decided to go for a slightly coarser um, paper and I'm now using 600. And as you can see, this has left a, a much more sort of matte finish I've finished flatting down the grill now, so it's all looking very matte, um, but it still feels nice and smooth, which is fantastic. In a moment, I'm going to wipe it down with some Bodyline, um, which is a Unipart product. So this is the second um, coat of primer and it looks quite nice. I'm pleased with the result. I let it harden for a little while and then I flattened it down with some 1500 grit paper. I did this very gently, almost as if I were wiping with a cloth, but even still I have noticed that there are some areas where the paint has got a little bit thin. Okay, so the parts have had um, three coats of primer placed over them and um, they are looking quite good. There's a nice even spread of primer over all of the parts now. Um, I have noticed when I run my hand over the surface that I can start to feel little defects, little dust particles that have been picked up. Initially I was hoping not to have to flat down the, the surface once again with some uh, 1500 grit, but I think that um, if I'm gonna get a nice smooth glossy finish at the end of it, it might be worthwhile doing that. The second coat of metallic paint has gone on and I can start to see the metallic component of the paint sort of sparkling through. Um, it's looking really good. I'm just going to leave it to harden. Uh, although it's had two coats, I might just go for a third coat uh, because it uh, looks a little thin uh, compared to the primer, which seemed to, to be a lot thicker. Um, after I've uh, done the third coat, I'm going to leave it overnight to, to really harden and then just gently flat it down once again with some 1500 uh, and then uh, settle with the clear coat. Well, that's it. That's the uh, final coat and it's starting to look pretty good. Um, unfortunately, the video footage doesn't really do it any uh, justice, but you can start to see already there are sort of rainbow flecks of metallic um, th showing through the paint. So just the clear coat to go and uh, it's all getting rather exciting. Well, this is the completed article. I've managed to lacquer it twice, two, three times. And um, since then I've had it um, in the sink again with the 1500 grit paper, polished the whole thing down and tea cut it very, very gently and used a high quality polish, which um, in fact was Autoglim, super resin polish.